Hi guys, it's Kirby. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are still doing dupes because it is April and we do dupes all month long. Today's dupe is a body butter dupe. We are facing off the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream in the original scent. I don't know what that scent is called, but in the original scent. To the Trader Joe's Brazilian Nut body trio. Um, I first learned about this dupe from Johnny Ross on Instagram a long time ago uh, and recently Trader Joe's has been offering the body the Brazilian nut body butter outside of summer uh, which has been really nice and interesting. So let's talk a little bit about the products. I do know that even though these might be similar scents that they and they do carry a lot of the same ingredients in these things they are not the exact same formulation just if that sways your decision I know that the scent and again a lot of the ingredients are similar but not everything about these products are the exact same so let's get into it let's start with the Brazilian bum bum cream this I have purchased at Ulta, I think. They sell it at Ulta now. It comes in a lot of different scents and flavors. As of recently, they've released um, SPF. They have like body fragrance and stuff. We're just here to talk about the cream itself. It comes in multiple different sizes. This is the... I don't know what size. Oh, the 2.5 fluid ounce size or the 75 milliliter, which means... This was $22. They do have a size that's uh, 25 milliliters, which is like the smaller size, and that's $10. They also have two bigger options, a 240 milliliter option, which is $48, and then a refill for the 240 milliliter, which is $44. So it's nice that you can get it in a whole bunch of different sizes and varieties and a refill for like the big big one. Trader Joe's Brazilian Nut Body Butter. I got this in a gift pack and I actually had to get it shipped in from Chicago. Thanks Kara. My friend Kara uh, shipped it to me because I couldn't find it anywhere in Columbus but they had them all over the place apparently in Chicago so she shipped it to me and this was like their holiday um, collection and it came with the uh, three ounce body butter, a body mist, and then a body oil, and this together was $12.99. I do know that they make a, like, standalone body butter. I'm not exactly sure how big it is. I'll put it on the screen if I can find it, but I know that that one retails, I think, for around six or seven dollars, and it's very similar to their Trader Joe's coconut butter body butter. And I do have that one, and I really, really like the texture of that one. Um, it's like really thick and absorbs very well. But this one is the three ounces. If you're dividing the $12.99 by three, because there were three different products in here, I guess you could say that this was like $4.33, but I don't know if that would be a fair assessment because I don't know how much the body mist or body oil are by themselves. But if you're looking at this for a cost savings from the 75 milliliter to the gift set that I got, what would that be? You're talking about like a $9 savings, a $9.01 savings. And then if you're looking at it just from like an individual standpoint, say that this is about $6.99 or $7, you're looking at around a $15 savings for the small one. You're looking at a what? $40 savings for the big one and a $2 savings for the little one, but I do know that this, when it's a standalone, is probably more around a uh, like 6 to 10 ounce jar rather than just a 3 ounce. So still a considerable savings for something that has very similar ingredients in it and apparently has the exact same scent. So if you're buying the Bum Bum Cream for a scent, <laughs> you might be looking out for the Trader Joe's. The only downside to the Trader Joe's, and again, the Brazilian Nut Body Butter used to be, I believe, like a summer exclusive type of situation where they'd stock it up for the summer and then once it's gone, it's gone. And that was always very difficult to find, which is why this dupe video has taken me a little bit of time because I could never find it in Columbus. So let's look at, open them up and see what we're working with. 
So this is the Trader Joe's. This is the Bum Bum Cream. They have extremely different textures and colors. The Trader Joe's is white and it's a little bit thicker. Um, it does still look creamy, but it does have a little bit more of like a clearly visually like thicker texture to it and then the bum bum cream has a little bit of like a creamy look to it and it is a little bit more smooth looking rather than like a chunky cream Ooh, I got some on my nose the Trader Joe's Brazilian nut butter is a little bit more of like a softer scent to it it still has the same scent but it's not as overpowering as whenever you open up the Brazilian bum bum cream it's like immediately it hits you it's like so fragranced but they do smell like the exact same I will just say that if you're sensitive to fragrance maybe the Trader Joe's would be a little bit better for you because it it's a little bit more subtle rather than so overpowering so let's try them out what we're going to do is I'm going to try the Brazilian bum bum cream the Sol de Janeiro on this side of my arm and I'm going to use the Trader Joe's on this arm so I'll use this hand for the Trader Joe's and I'll use this hand for the Sol de Janeiro so that's the Sol de Janeiro oh yeah the Trader Joe's is <laughs> very thick so here's the textures I don't know if you'll be able to see it yeah up close and personal the Sol de Janeiro, very creamy, very thin, and the Trader Joe's is very thick. Um, and in terms of lotion, I know that that's like really important. It isn't always necessarily just about scent <laughs> and formulation. It's really about like texture and how it like sits on the skin and things like that. So let's rub these in and see what we're dealing with. Again, this is the Sol de Janeiro side. And I have used the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream prior to this video and I've used the Trader Joe's Coconut Body Butter prior to this and the, if you're familiar with Trader Joe's Body Butter, this Brazilian Nut Body Butter has a very similar feeling to that. It's like thick and pasty almost. Um, very different from the Sol de Janeiro. Hmm. Okay. See, now... I don't have any lotion on, by the way. Like, I got out of the shower, blow-dried my hair, did my makeup because I'm trying to film all of these videos. But... So when it's on, they don't have the same scent at all. <laughs> um... The Trader Joe's Brazilian Nut Body Mist or Body Butter almost goes into like this very light, fresh floral scent. Whereas like the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream from Sol de Janeiro keeps that very nutty fragrance. So when you're wearing them, the Brazilian Nut Body Butter from Trader Joe's, it doesn't, it doesn't keep that like nutty fragrance. It goes into like this fresh floral type of scent but it is still very subtle whereas the Sol de Janeiro is very is still very nutty and still very powerful in terms of like the scent itself mm, that's interesting okay I thought that the I was gonna come into this thinking that these were like exact dupes for each other and they are not they're actually like hugely different so here's what I'll say um, initially, the scent of both of them, when you're smelling them side by side, they do smell very, very similar, but based on the texture and how they feel when applying them, they're extremely different lotions and body butters. The Brazilian Bum Bum Cream from Sol de Janeiro is very smooth and soft and like it goes on the skin almost in like this creamy liquid way whereas the Trader Joe's is very thick and pasty like and it it goes on a lot heavier 
but I will say the Trader Joe's is kind of like sinking in and not leaving my skin very like greasy. They're both leaving my skin very soft. This is really interesting because I was trying to go through the ingredients list to see if these were like you know exact to dupes for each other and they do share a lot of the same ingredients and fragrance but when you actually wear them and put them on they're like very completely different products like again even just looking at them side by side you can tell that this is so much like smoother than this wow okay I don't think that the Trader Joe's Brazilian nut butter is a bad alternative for the Sol de Janeiro bum bum cream. I don't think it's an ax I don't think it's an absolute dupe for it though. The texture of it is different, the wear of it dif is different, and the scent once you apply it on your skin is actually really different. I was going into this thinking that it was going to be like the exact same experience and it really isn't. Um, but it does right out of the jar have a very similar fragrance to it but upon wearing them I don't think that they're the exact same at all but they both do what they say like they're both very lovely body butters and they do keep your skin feeling nice and hydrated so I will say if you're looking for a cheaper alternative because you do like that familiar bum bum scent from Sol de Janeiro I don't think that the Trader Joe's Brazilian body butter is a bad option just know that the texture is different the wear is different and when you apply it the scent or maybe it's just on me but the scent does change slightly um, Wow, I was really, I've heard so many people say it's like an exact dupe for it, and it does right out of the jar smell the same, but the textures of the lotions are different, and the feeling of them, and then once they're actually on the skin, how they smell and dry down is very different, because I feel like the Sol de Janeiro side is still very like oiled and supple whereas like the Trader Joe's side is very like already sunk into my skin and it feels like almost like dried down if that makes sense oh okay so this was interesting I will link both of these down in the description box below so if you are interested to check them out in your own time you can do that um have you tried the Trader Joe's Brazilian body butter or the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below or if you have any experience with these and you think that they're dupes or not dupes or you know what your take is. Let's start a conversation in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful give it a big old thumbs up. As always please be sure to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. I would hate for you to miss out on any more videos. Thanks so much for watching guys.